Hi, I'm Randy Vance at the Miami International Boat Show with Michael Curry, the regional sales manager for Skeeter Boats. Now, you guys have just introduced a new bay boat here. It's kind of a downsized version of your popular 25. It is. It's our 2350. Um, 2350, the 50 at the end of that denotes that it's a hybrid bay boat with higher, high gunnel sides and some family features for the angler that likes to take their family with them. So like in Florida, you're chasing seasons all the time. Sure. This hybrid style lets you do that. Absolutely. So in Florida and other parts of the country, fisheries open and close. So we've developed a boat that can help families, recreational anglers get out there and do some reef fishing, come in the inlet, do some snook fishing, come on even further on the inside and trout redfish. Or if seasons are closed or if it's just a really beautiful day, you wanna take your family, we can go tubing, we can go hang out at the sandbar. The boat kind of does a lot of things. On a calm day in the Atlantic, I might go out and do the snapper season too. I've been out 25 miles in a boat like that, pretty comfortable. Me too. Now this is powered with a Yamaha VMAX show. That's the standard power for this boat, correct? It's the most common choice yeah. that our dealers are making for this particular application. Now one of the things that I notice is you've redesigned the back seat and you call that a uh, lazarette. Yeah, it's got a lazarette that uh, you can access your pumps and wiring and also provides a little bit of extra storage. Yep. The other thing I've noticed is a different design on your transom platform. What's going on there? Oh, so it, it's a sturdy design of a swim platform that really can appeal to a lot of applications. Uh, if you snorkel for scallops or if you go lobstering, you have this really sturdy platform to get in and out of the boat in deep water. Again, it's, it's, it's very family friendly. It's got a lot of uh, handholds to let the youngsters get on in and out of the boat. A lot of guys are going to use that getting in the boat from the driveway. Sure. And with that non-skid surface on it, you're not going to tear yeah. it up like you might on a fiberglass. You've also changed the surface of the deck here. It's not diamond plate anymore. Yeah, we went to a different mat that is easier to repair if something were to happen. Um, it's going to be a little bit easier to clean, a little less aggressive. Yeah. Not going to slip, but it's going to be easier when you're, you've got some blood or, or fish stuff on the deck. It'll be really easy to, to, much easier to clean. I was looking around, you've got three live wells in here, two 20 gallons on the transom and a 14 up front. Yes, sir. Now, you've got two stainless steel pickups on there. How are you feeding that front live well? The front live well has uh, two pumps on it, a resort pump and a feed pump, and then it has its own dedicated pickup on the starboard so side. You've got three pickups on this boat. That's nice, good. Michael, you've got a really nice leaning post behind the helm. It's double wide. Is this a standard or an option? It's the standard feature and it's the most common way our dealers order this particular boat. And the reason they do that is it's got six rod holders across the back, which is more than plenty. Uh, 85 quart ingle cooler underneath the leaning post that for your catch or your drinks. It's got a tool holder and then it has a bin on the inside that the seat flips forward. You can put, you know, the random things you come across, your pliers, your, your wallet, your cell phone, sunscreen, nice little place to put that sort of stuff. It's a good looking helm station too. And the first thing I look for is, can I fit two 12 inch screens up there? And sure enough, that's there. It checks the box. What about the sun pad up on the front? The sun pad up front is, uh, is an option and it can be removed pretty easily with some snaps and stored away in the garage. And the backrests also slide out and can be stored away if you're dedicated to fishing that day. The helm station is kind of modular. You have the same helm station over in the 25, if I'm not mistaken. It's a shrunken down version. Is it? A similar design and the same sort of color options as you can see. It has the black, what we call the pod. The black pod can match the hull. So it, it does, that is a uh, design cue that has come down from the 2550. Now the hard top over here on the 25, we can have that on this boat too. For a absolutely, and it comes standard with uh, six rod holders across the back. There are two on the outside are for king fishing. Yeah. Um, you have a uh, spreader light in the front, spreader light in the back, both LED, that's standard, and an e-box. One of the things that I noticed walking up is you've got a mirror-like finish on the side. That requires a lot of care in the factory to keep that going. Tell me about your guys there. We have a proud heritage. This boat company will be 75 years old this, this small to year change. So we've been doing it a long, long time. And um, our heritage also includes some bass boats. And as you know, bass boat guys are very, very finicky on their finish. No so doubt. are our customers in saltwater. So we were able to transition those types of uh, craftsmen into the saltwater side. And it makes for, as you can see, incredible all black finish. Now you built it on top of a trailer that's custom built for this. So it's going to be easy to trailer. You can get it where you want it or have it in your front yard if you're lucky enough to live on the water. Well, thanks, Michael. I appreciate the quick tour of the boat. I'm Randy Vance at the Miami International Boat Show. We're looking at the Skeeter 2350.